Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Padlet account using your student email and password and also start a Padlet board. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Padlet.com in the Chrome browser or Safari browser if you're using an iPad. You can also download, download the Padlet Chrome app if you're using a Chromebook. Make sure when you go to Padlet.com that you don't click on the sign up button here, but go over to the login option. Then you're going to click on the login with Google. Your Google account is your student email address and password. Once you've signed in with your email and password, you select choose an account. This will take you into your Padlet board. You're ready to get started by coming up and clicking on the New Padlet option. Before you start editing your Padlet, it's important to make a few changes in the settings. To do this, go down to the Settings Gear icon and click. You'll want to make sure that you add a title to every Padlet and put your name at the end. It's also very important that you change the layout option if you're on an iPad. You'll want to make sure that you use the stream layout option when editing on an iPad because the editing pencil, which lets you make changes to any of the tiles you create, is only visible using the stream layout option when you're using an iPad. Now you're ready to start editing your Padlet just find any blank area on the canvas and double click. This will open up a tile that lets you add a title, a description, and then add links. I'm going to show you more about what this looks like in a live demonstration. Go to Padlet.com and remember don't click sign up. Come up to the login option. Click on the login with Google and put in your student email and password then choose your account. When you get to your Padlet dashboard, come up to the New Padlet option. This is your canvas, but before you start editing, come to the Settings Gear icon. Make sure you add a title and your name. And you can see that that's putting the title and name up here on the canvas. And then if you're using an iPad, be sure to come and change the layout to Stream View. Now you can double click on the canvas to open a tile that's ready for editing. You can click on the Add and Attachment icons to put in links to other websites, upload photos or videos. So that's how you're going to use Padlet.com using your student email and to start your own Padlet board.